Okay, due to Facebook being a pain in the butt, <laughs> wrecking my video, I'll just start this again. Okay, what we've got here is a, uh, a Scorpion Black Widow. Uh, could use a good clean at the moment, I would agree with that 100%. Um, we've uh, been out on some dirt tracks, obviously. Uh, but what we've done is we've basically taken it off its mount for the moment, just got it sitting loose so that we can rotate it around. We're going to be cleaning up a lot of the earth straps, etc. But we've got an intermittent, um, and sometimes uh, in speaking with Ron, um, the the uh, end type uh, can spread, so the pins can spread, but they're, they're looking fairly good. Um, but uh, our next job is to have a look at the connection inside, and to do that, we're going to have to take um, a fair bit of the capping and bits and pieces off. So we've got a little bit of deconstruction to go um, over this section here, but um, I'll uh, try and see if I can make it as simple as possible, just so that anybody that uh, is playing with a scorpion later on can get a bit of an idea just what they need to do. Um, quite a few Allen screws and bits and pieces, but uh, ah, it's all okay. Okay, we're on pause for now, and we'll just go to the next stage. Now, one of the suggestions I've got is the best way that you can work on your scorpion antenna is lay it on a flat uh, table, and basically just have it uh, sitting there nicely so that you've got complete control over it and um, you can quickly whip it around to get the screws out that you need to. We'll initially be taking this bottom section out just to have a little look at this connector. Um, bear in mind I haven't actually pulled one of these to bits before so um, there will be a little bit of learning as we go but um, uh, I can't really see there being too much difficulty. I do expect to find uh, that we're going to need to clean out a fair bit of dust um, and I'm very much expecting that something in here is loose but uh, Ron could be right could be on the back of this connector but it is not as simple as pulling that connector forward um, you need to be able to get in from behind it so unfortunately uh, there's no slack there to fix that connection uh, but um, I'm fairly sure that we start taking a few screws out all will be revealed okay I will so pause this again for a bit of fun. One of the short things I will mention uh, is um, don't do your back in. Um, you know, this table height, which is, you know, all very wonderful. Um, get yourself an adjustable, um, cheap as chips, uh, these things, you know, 20, 30 bucks at uh, Super Cheap Autos. And um, they've even got a parts tray on the bottom if you want to throw bits and pieces in there. But uh, uh, we're all getting a bit older, so uh, let's... Uh, save our backs okay now for those you've never seen inside one of these scorpion antennas here we have one very dusty canister which needs a lot of cleaning out um, and we these are made to go on very dusty roads um, and here we have a coil that's coming outside um, although the coil even though we're going to clean this surface with acetone the coil actually looks extremely good, which makes us wonder about the finger stock and whether or not we're getting a good connection between it. But just to give you an illustration, just of what actually happens with the Scorpion antenna, we apply a little bit of power from here. Now, you can hear a, cl a slight clicking noise there. Now that clicking noise has got me really concerned because that clicking noise just doesn't sound right. It sounds like something's just a little bit loose in there. And it's just about to its full height fairly soon, I think. And we'll be cautious to turn it off. Then we'll pause this video while we take that uh, this top head system off here and just have a little look at what the finger stock's doing. Because if the finger stock is causing us trouble, um, and I note that a little bit of rubbish just came out of um, the antenna just then, so that might be of interest to us as well. Actually, I think it could be great interest to us, but um, we'll certainly have a look at that in just a second. Okay, as you can see, quite a bit does come out of the, um, the Scorpion Black Widow. This is the SA680 Black Widow. And, um, of course, then you've got your whip that uh, I had earlier. Right, we'll just turn that off quickly. And uh, I'll pause the video for a moment because I want to show you something. Um, but this little piece that's just kind of fallen out here... Um, this well could be our problem. Um, it, and it may well be that we won't be taking this antenna on the trip that we're doing tomorrow, that we'll use one of the Kodan antennas. But um, anyway, that's... Um, um, oh, and let me also add, down the other end here, um, 
we've um, decided not to pull this section apart uh, just yet, only on the basis that, that my, my true belief is the problem is up here um, and that uh, it's really where it's going to be. OK, I'll put on uh, pause and I'll show you the next stage of the, um, the teardown of a, uh, uh, a, a, sorry, a Scorpion SA680 Black Widow. Okay, we now have some vision of what the problem is and unfortunately the finger stocks that rotate and connect to this here are um, faulty and that noise you're hearing is the other one of those. They have one on each side I would assume from the look of it. You can sort of just see, oh just in there, maybe. There's a finger stop going click, 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 click. Okay, so unfortunately, it's probably going to be, I'm going to need some spares and some advice from Ron from Scorpion, but don't get me wrong, he is fantastic at the advice he gives, uh, but this antenna won't be the one that we'll be taking, um, let me turn that motor off, that uh, we won't be able to use this antenna tomorrow. Um, uh, I'm in half a mind to see what the, um, the product of one finger stock can do uh, by putting it back together um, and just seeing how that reacts. But I think I'd want advice from Ron first. So I'm going to send him, obviously, this YouTube video and uh, just get his advice first because um, Ron, uh, uh, just something I'd like to mention. Um, Ron has been one of the most um, supportive guys in comparison to other brands, and I won't go into the brands, but you know the brands I'm talking about. Um, the ones that have been around for a few years that claim that they are so wonderful, but now they've come out with some just cheap ass rubbish. Um, the US branded one I'm talking about. Um, this, this here is just so well machined, so well, and keep in mind, um, you know, uh, this, this antenna, um, whilst, you know, we've developed a fault in it, uh, you know, it, it's just one of those things. I was expecting to see that things were a lot dirtier in here, but they're not. They're actually very, very clean. It's, um, the coil looks beautiful and actually it's not too bad. Um, we'll still clean it with acetone and put it back together. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you never know, we might get lucky with this one clip for now until Ron could get me uh, some instructions on how to replace the clips, etc. Um, and uh, I think I've got a fair idea how that happens, uh, by the way. I, I think the antenna goes all the way to the bottom, then that top um, uh, chrome piece here comes off to, to be fitted with clips, then you put that back on and then let it um, do its thing. But I would want to get advice from Ron before I do that. Okay, uh, Ron, if you're seeing this video, I'm going to send this to you now. Um, and, mate, um, um, thank you so much for the bits you sent out um, in regards to uh, over here uh, for the... Um, uh, bits and pieces. By the way, um, people should know in Australia, or they should know in the world, Ron didn't ask me for postage, Ron didn't ask me, all he wanted to know is what did he need to do to satisfy me as a customer? What was it that made his company a to totally you know, quality um, satisfaction guaranteed company? And uh, you know, uh, I don't know too many companies that are like that. I used to run an antenna called a high something, yes, anyway, and um, and I used to get yelled at by uh, that particular guy. Um, Ron is just fantastic to deal with, and um, you know what, here I am, I'm sitting with a faulty antenna right now, but do you know why I'm so happy? Is because I know I've got the confidence and the knowledge that the guy who's behind it um, is behind it 24-7, seven days a week. He is just, he's just, always there. I don't know if he ever sleeps actually. All right, uh, guys, I'll, I'll put this up for now, uh, but um, we'll show you the reassembly um, a little bit later on, um, especially if, if we've got to uh, redo these um, uh, these little bits that are broken off and torn here. Um, and um, we'll, uh, we'll certainly... Um, uh, I, I think Ron's going to tell me that one's not quite usable. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, these things happen. Um, was this a difficult antenna to pull to bits? No. Um, are there some tricks to putting it back together? Yes. Um, there are a few things that Ron's written to me about in great detail. Uh, so um, we'll, get, we'll get on to that when we do the reassembly, uh, when the clips arrive, etc. And um, then any of you Scorpion owners out there can really know that... Um, look, it, it is definitely something you can do yourself. 
Um, if you live in Australia like me and it's going to cost you $300 to ship it there and $300 to ship it back, um, then talk to Ron because he'll work he'll work his, the way through with it, you know, or you know, work with you to get uh, through the repair of it. And um, and remember something about Scorpion antennas: lifetime guarantee. How many times do you ever hear lifetime guarantee? Seriously, I mean, you know, and and the guy means it. He means it. He, he does not muck around. Um, you know, bar dying, I think we're pretty safe. <laughs> May Ron live a long life. <laughs> okay, 73 is from VK3 Charlie Mike. Um, uh, look, we'll see how we go. We might may chuck the uh, Kodan 3040 on just for tomorrow's trip to Wagga Wagga. Um, but we'll just see. I'm, I'm just going to give this a, a, a put back together and give it a try. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed uh, having a little bit of a look at just exactly how uh, the Scorpion Black Widow SA680 works. Thanks very much for having a look. Cheers.